Hold on. Hello? Um, I beg your pardon, but what are you looking at? Humanity at work. A tenacious attachment to this life. Huh? Why? Why must humans live the lives they do? They fight for a share of monopolized technology and hurt even those closest to them. Are you talking about Blastia? <sighs> I can't speak for anyone else, but it doesn't seem to me like there's any reason why we get dumped into the world. But once you're here, you just do what you can to give this life everything you've got. Perhaps there is truth in what you say. Hey! He's gone. What was that all about? Got me. They say the heat can make people go a little crazy. Is it hot? left the capital and things are already getting crazy. That's it. I'm cursed. I know it. <gasps> the gate! What the hell? Cut it out! Wait over... Hey! Help the girl! Whatever you're... 
Whatever you say. P please, I can't get up. Ow! The monsters! The monsters! Everything's gonna be okay. How can I ever thank you? Oh, it's nothing, really. I'm not sure what I would have done if you hadn't cured me. Thanks. I'm just thankful that everyone's safe. Whoa. All worn out, huh? It really is dangerous beyond the barriers with so many ferocious monsters around. This place could definitely use a barrier against a pack that big. Couldn't they install a barrier blastia here? No. Barriers are a precious resource. You're right. And with the current technology, we can't make any more. If only we could recover the secrets of the ancient Garayo civilization. They created the blastia. Even if that were to happen, I can't see the Empire using the knowledge for the common good. You two there! I'd like to have a word with you! So why don't you let us through? I'll beat those monsters to a pulp with these fists of mine! How many times do I have to say it? These monsters are tougher than you think! You dare to doubt the power of the Monster Hunters? Stop! Stay out of this! You knights cheated us out of a job back there, and now we're gonna work off some steam! Hey, hold it! It's always the same with these guild idiots. Great, we'll never get through as long as this keeps up. But Flynn is headed to Halor and we're so close. Well, getting caught by the knights wouldn't be too fun. Let's find another way through. We made quite a scene, didn't we? I was so worried once those knights noticed us. I told you we couldn't stand out. You were the one who just jumped. I can't just look away when monsters are attacking someone right in front of me, right? <laughs> What's so funny? I'm sorry. That sounded just like the way Flynn described you, that's all. He often said that you could never turn a blind eye when someone near you was suffering. Well, next time you see him, you tell him that I said he's the same way. <laughs> I'll do that. Thank you.
You there. How about coming to work for me? You'll be paid, of course. Watch your manners around the president. Well, what do you say? So it's not bad manners to try and buy someone without even introducing yourself? Watch your mouth! You're just as charming as I expected. I'm Kaufman of the Merchants Guild Fortunes Market. We handle everything from trade to distribution. Guilds, huh? You see, I'm in quite a tight spot, and it's all thanks to these tremors. I'd rather not know, but was that the work of a monster? Yes, the Lord of the Plains. Lord of the Plains? He's the leader of that pack of monsters. The leader? Man, there's some amazing things out there. Do you know if there's another way we can cross the plains? We're in a hurry. Huh. <sighs> I'm afraid you'll just have to wait for the Lord of the Plains to leave. Huh. I guess there's no point getting worked up over it. But I can't afford to just sit and wait. I'm gonna get a second opinion. Um. You're with a guild that does product distribution, but you don't know any other routes? I could hire you and just charge through once the leader moves on, but uh, you don't seem interested. If it's bodyguards you want, why not hire the knights? Are you forgetting that we guild members have thrown away our rights as Imperial citizens? Once you leave the Empire behind, you can't expect them to help you a whole lot. So naturally, the Imperial Knights would never deign to escort the likes of us. Wow, you really stick to your principles. Without that level of determination, one could never hope to run a guild. Well, maybe you could use your determination to do something about that Lord of the Plains. Go to the Koi Woods that lie to the west of here. If you pass through the forest, you'll come out on the far side of the plains. But the fact that you guys aren't going that way... must mean we have some surprise to look forward to. I like a boy with quick wits, but I like one that doesn't waste a potential investment even better. Thanks. I owe you one. Maybe I'll talk to you about that job if we meet again. Estelle. I... I'm not waiting around for the monsters to leave or anything. I'm just resting a little. Oh, I see. Well then, I guess I'll just have to take the other way around by myself. What? H how did you... Hey, wait for me! That woman who gave us directions, she said she was in a guild, right? That was Miss Kaufman of Fortune's Market. Man, giving up their rights as Imperial citizens and just living free. Yuri, are you interested in the guilds? Interested? Nah, I just never had much contact with them. Back in the capital, there weren't any gritty guild types who'd refuse the Knights' protection. We may meet lots of people in guilds before we're done with our trip. I hope they're a little less aggressive than that woman was.
Very good swinging a sword, Yuri. You're not bad yourself, Estelle. Really? My swordmaster used to scold me terribly. Well, I have to admit I'd be surprised if you look too natural. I really don't like fighting. I don't like hurting people. How ladylike of you. But if I don't fight, I'll end up hurt myself, right? Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. I wish I could enjoy fighting like you do, Yuri. You think I enjoy this? Don't you? I mean, the way your eyes shine, that only happens when you're fighting. Oh, oh, really? Well, you're pretty observant. Yes, I like watching people. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a
Guess we can do this. We finished them off. I finished them off. Let's get this over with. Just getting warmed up. Sorry if I hurt you. Holy It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. Guess we can do this. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer. Hey, I learned something. 
A forest in a place like this can only mean... the Quoi Woods? Bingo. You're just full of information, aren't you? I read in a book once that a curse will fall upon anyone who enters the woods. Ah, so that must be the surprise. Not going in? It's fine by me, but... What about Flynn? I know. Okay, let's go. Will this forest really get us to the other side of the hold? If it doesn't, we'll just come back. But what if I get turned into a frog or a snake by the forest's curse? If that happens, I'll take care of you. You'll... take care of me? Of course I would. Don't worry. I had pet frogs and snakes when I was a kid. If you got turned into a frog or a snake, Yuri, I wouldn't have any idea what to feed you. 